For practice it, exercise 2.6 number triangle, we are asked to write for loops to produce the following output. To do this, we have several ro rows like this, and each row has a couple of numbers in the column. Well, the first row has one, second row has two twos, third row has three threes, fourth row has four fours, and so on. So first, we are going to deal with the fact that we have several rows. We're going to have four and we'll have int a, we'll set that equal to zero, and we'll run this as long as a is less than seven. And we're gonna just increment a every single time, so that way we can eventually get to the end. Next, we're going to have a for loop in here, and this is going to run and output all of these numbers. So we're gonna say int b is equal to zero, and actually, we should start a at one, and we'll see why in a second. We'll, we'll use this a to output these values. We'll run this as long as int b is equal to zero. And we will run this because we can see here that the number of lines outputted in every single row, it's dependent on which row it is in. So we're going to say, we're going to run this as long as b is it less than a? And we're going to do b plus plus. So the first time this outputs b is equal to zero, a is equal to one, so it's going to print one, one time. And then the next time it's going to say b is equal to one, a is equal to two, so it'll print twice. So in here, we can have brackets like this, and then we could have our system dot out dot print line statement like this. Actually it needs to be a print statement and that is because the output, the numbers are all going to be on the same line. It's going to print out A and then outside of this loop, once this loop is done running, we need to go on to the next line. So we'll do system.out.print line like this. And we will submit it. We need to have parentheses in here for it to work. And it needs to be system.out, not system.or. And then we have passed the test. So this is the code that will produce this following output.